you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog i am ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and i can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular y'all <laughs> well first of all i gotta tell you know i'll be telling y'all damn near everything but i'm so excited because <laughs> i'm so excited because i just checked my email and an item shipped that I thought shipped, not sh sound, that was sounding like something else. But I had ordered these boots that, um, that they're like an archive piece, right? A boot that I have loved, I've coveted for, I don't even know how long, probably 10 years, probably whenever they came out, I loved them. Um, and it just, I just was reminded about this particular boot recently. Actually, it was just like, like last week, I was on the phone with Camille, my bestie, shout out to Camille. She's the girl who I probably talk fashion with the most. Um, so we was talking about this boot. Matter of fact, what it was, was the, um, she's a YouTuber actually. Brown girl, she, she, who also has Instagram and TikTok and basically all the platforms or whatever. So Camille and I were on the phone just talking fashion or whatever. And she was like, you know what? I wish this particular boot um, I wish I was able to find it in my size. It's an archive piece. And um, she was like, damn, I wish I could find it in my size. Bestie has, um, I'm not really telling her business, but she got a larger, she has a rare foot size. Let's say that she has, <laughs> she's tall. So she has, you know, large, long, bigger feet than me. And I have a pretty big foot, actually. I wear like a nine, a true, I'm a true nine and a half. But because my bestie is so tall, of course, she has um, bigger feet. So, so, and she loves, obviously, high-end designer shit. But because she has a, a bigger foot, she oftentimes can't find some of the, especially archive pieces or some of the shoes in general um, that a person that wears like a six or a seven or eight typically would be able to wear. Um, so anyway, we were taught, she was, she sent me this post that brown girl cheat. This is all going to come, this is all going to come full circle you know how I tell my stories. But anyway, so she sent me this post. She was like, damn, I wish I could find this archive boot in my size. So I was like, girl, what you talking about? So she sends me brown girl cheese post. I think she did a reel and she had on this archive Balenciaga boot. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all. She had on this archive Balenciaga boot. So it instantly reminded me like, girl, you know you want this boot. Now, you know, we don't support new Balenciaga. We don't support Demna, who's the existing creative director, but we definitely support the previous creative director. So although a lot of people have been um, boycotting or they don't rock with Balenciaga, I don't mind getting Balenciaga archive or uh, older pieces because it was a totally different creative director. So so anyway, this piece is, is we can we can go with it. So anyway, she sends me the reel, and, she, and so I instantly was reminded that I want this boot, right? So I started searching all the different sites, uh, the real reel, Best Air Collective, which I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but Best Air, Poshmark, eBay, Google in general, right? Trying to find this boot. So I wasn't able to find it in the, they come in black, they come in like white, they come in like purple, burgundy or some shit like that, navy. I wanted the black ones, but I was able to find a white pair on Best Stair Collective in pristine condition. So I'm telling, this is like I said, all of this is going to come full circle. <laughs> so anyway, I find it on Best Stair Collective. I've never ordered off of that app before, but I, I have an account. So I tried to like um, do an offer. It's kind of similar to like eBay or Poshmark where you can essentially make an offer to the seller and as long as it's you know reasonable typically they will accept this particular offer now the lady who i made this offer to literally did not if she ignored the message or she didn't respond in, in time so my offer expired and it was a reasonable offer it was only like 50 60 dollars off of what she was asking for and the price she was asking quite honestly was very reasonable but y'all know me i'm trying to get it for the low right Okay, so she didn't respond to that. So I said, you know what? They have this promo code on Best Air Collective where you get $30 off of your first order. So I was like, you know what? The boot was on, listed for like $237 and then $30 off. I was like, you telling me I can get this boot? Even though it's not the color I want necessarily, 
but um, black and white are pretty interchangeable, obviously. So I'm like, you telling me I can possibly get this boo for 207 plus shipping? You know what, F it. I know she didn't accept the offer. Let me go ahead and just buy the shoe. Let me go ahead and purchase or order the shoe. So I did that and literally for days, this lady did not ship the shoe. They kept sending a, a notification reminders for her to ship the shoe. And then they told, they sent me a message saying that, hey, if she does not ship the shoe by, I think it was 11-4, they was gonna refund my money and I wasn't gonna get the shoe. I don't want a refund girl, I want the boot. So anyway, I kept checking every day to see if she was gonna ship it, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, girl, after however many minutes, she shipped the boot. 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 It's worthy of that, of a song. It's worthy of a, a, a old, a, a old spiritual, let's say that. So I'm super excited and that is why I'm in, I'm always typically in a good mood, but that's particularly why I'm in a good mood right now, girl, cause she shook the boot. She shook the boot. She shook the boot. <laughs> so of course, when it arrives, I will be sharing it with you guys. I'm so excited. I wish it was here right now so I can wear it tomorrow because I'm going out for like appetizers with Sonya and I would love to wear it. But you know what? Whenever they come, as long as they are given the same condition that they were given on the app, girl, that's really good news. I had to share that with you guys, even though I should have just did an unboxing when they came. But um, I just had to tell y'all she shit the boot and I'm so excited. Anyway, so there's that. And then, oh, another thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. Well, I wanted to recap, of course. I, we talked... We talked last week about, like everybody has been talking about, the whole Keith Lee coming to uh, uh, wreak havoc on the Atlanta restaurant scene uh, last week. So what I don't like about what happened is um, people are more so, and even I spoke about, you know, the negative experiences that he had, like the Real Milk and Honey and Atlanta Breakfast Club and where else, OLG, that sort of thing. However, what I don't find, what I don't like is that people are not necessarily talking about the good experiences that he had. And he was really able to change like the trajectory probably from a monetary standpoint of a lot of these, of the three restaurants that got really good reviews. One of them was Juicy Jerk, which I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but that's like my favorite Jamaican Caribbean restaurant and it's in Stone Mountain. And I'm so glad that they're getting the recognition that they deserve because that food slaps and I've been going there for years and it's amazing. Won't be going there no time soon because I saw them lines due to the Keith Lee effect and um, I'm not into waiting. However, that food is amazing and those people are super nice. And somebody made a, <laughs> made a joke and they were like, um, do you know how bad your service had to be for you to get better, for you to get worse remarks in a Jamaican restaurant? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because if you know, you know, Jamaican restaurants are notoriously known for having horrible, like just being rude, just looking at you like you crazy. But they say the meaner the people at the Jamaican restaurant are, the better the food is. These people over here at Juicy Jerk are nice, but I'm just saying that I just thought that was a hilarious joke. Like, you know how bad your, your restaurant had to be for you to get lower ratings than a Jamaican restaurant. I thought that was hilarious. But anyway, so Juicy Jerk, he gave them really good reviews. He changed, I'm mean, like I said, he changed, people are now, they know about this place. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a real foodie in Atlanta, Georgia. So I've been knowing, but I just love the fact that they're getting more notoriety now. The Bodega, uh, which is where you can get like chopped cheese. Now that's a place I have not been, but I think they just recently opened maybe a couple of years, a year or two ago. And then another one was a Caribbean restaurant near Six Flags. I think it's a Caribbean restaurant near Six Flags. But anyway, those were three restaurants. So he was like three and three. He had like really good, really good reviews and really good things to say about three restaurants. But it's like people only wanted to focus on the ones that were not so great. And um, I just think that kind of sucks. And it's just been like an ongoing debate. And the what I don't like also is that he's been getting like, he said he made a video on TikTok saying that people have been giving him death threats and that he was he was reconsidering doing his food tour and that he needs to, he needs to um, 
step his security up. I'm like, it's never that deep. If y'all are really threatening this man's life and his family's life because he's just giving his honest feedback about his experience or the lack thereof at a restaurant, that's pretty damn ridiculous. And it's making the city look bad. Not that we already wasn't, we was already kind of looking bad, but I just think it was necessary. Like people need to really understand that when you have something that you are serving the public you are going to be open to criticism both good and bad and if you don't if you want to avoid bad criticism then you got to step your game up and use it as an opportunity to improve whatever standards were lacking when he pulled up like that's it it's real simple not to mention a lot of these restaurants are just popular because of these tourists like real atlanta people we not really pulling up at, I've never in my life heard none of my friends, and I, I know this is just me, but I don't have a friend that, I have friends that have ate at the Atlanta Breakfast Club. Mind you, I live downtown, so if you know where it is, it's right across the street from the aquarium. So it would be nothing for me to go, but you know I ain't waiting. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, I don't hear real Atlanta people say, oh, I'm going to the Atlanta Breakfast, Breakfast Club. So it's unfortunate that, you know, he had those, I never heard none of my friends saying they were going to Old Lady Gang. Not once have I heard somebody say, oh yeah, I went to Old Lady Gang. Anytime I hear about places like that, it's always, and there's nothing wrong with it because tourists, y'all just don't know, especially if you don't have somebody that's really like a city, like a real Atlanta person, you wouldn't have a clue necessarily where to go other than social media. Um, so I don't never, I don't know, none of my friends that have been to OLG, I don't know if anything, maybe the Camp Creek one, but I can't even think of nobody who's been out there. So actually I, I, I take that back, but real Atlanta people don't go to L OLG. Real Atlanta people do not go to the Atlanta Breakfast Club. Now I cannot necessarily say that about what's the other restaurant. It was Toast on Linux. He didn't really give them a review. Oh, the real milk and honey. I do know people who have been there, but more so it's the one on Cascade, which is the original milk and honey. So it's a whole lot of name back and forth, kind of similar to uh, Mr. Everything. But anyway, enough about that. But I just feel bad for him because he's really trying to do right. And he's really a God there, a real genuine person. I could just, I just, I can just, I'm, I'm pretty good judge of character, even if it's through social media, I can pretty much see if a person is cap or not. And I don't think he's cap. I think he's really genuine. And I, and I, and honestly, the boy did not mean no harm. So I just feel like it's really whack for him to be having all of this backlash when he has been to other cities with a lot of black restaurants and he has not had these issues. Like he went to New Orleans, people from New Orleans and y'all know how them folks get down. They wasn't coming after him and his family because he said something negative or he said something undesirable. So I just think it sucks and it just makes our city look bad and we just gotta do better. Be, I mean, you should not be, like I said, you should not be serving the public or having a product out there for consumers if you are not open to constructive criticism. It just is what it is. It's just a part of the game. And um, and like I said, they need to really be thanking him for giving them the constructive criticism because now y'all can make improvements versus being um, in attack mode. It's really bizarre. But anyway, this thing went viral crazy. I think somebody said he had like 93 million like impressions from this tour. So, uh, so yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, let me uh, stop talking y'all's face off. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey girl, hey boy, hey, if you are new before we get into this thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button again because we are trying to grow over here and we would love to have you a part of the squad a part of the family a part of the guys and dolls <laughs> and with that being said let's get into the actual vlog so Publix has their roses these are the classic roses you get a dozen for half off and the regular price is $11.99 so you essentially get your dozen for six dollars so I'm going to pick up some. I need a little light in my life right now. So these are my roses. I went with the pink and white ones. They don't look so good yet, but they're going to bloom and they're going to look so pretty. Just got to give them a day or two to pop out. And I had to put them in my big vase. So yeah, shout out to the good people over at Publix that's keeping the girls happy.
So you guys, I got a couple packages. Of course, I want to share with you guys. This is the first, again, Ashy Ashley, always making an appearance. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> this is the first order from my Sephora, my Sephora uh, what is it, VIB savings event. So my friend, shout out to Lakeisha, she's actually a Rouge. So she sent me a link to get the 20% off because I'm only a VIB. Um, I'm not even going to diminish myself by saying only a VIP, but I'm a VIP girl. So luckily I have friends who are, uh, Rouges. So I got a link to the Rouge. Um, I got a link so I can do the 20% off. So I placed this order the first day the sale started, which I want to say was last Friday. This package came so freaking quick. Y'all it's been sitting here for like two days. So I also placed the second order on the day that my actual sale started, which was the 31st Halloween Tuesday. I got 15% off and it hasn't come just yet, but I will insert a screenshot right here of what I got in that order. It was a smaller order or whatever, but you know how it is. You think that you got everything that you wanted and I planned on doing like having like a low key. I planned on not getting a lot of stuff because I just got some foundation like oh, two weeks ago, whatever. Um, and I'm always shopping Sephora, so I really didn't plan on uh, getting a lot of stuff, but, uh, there was some additional things that I needed to pick up. So I did place another order. Like I said, you guys can see in the screenshot what I picked up. I'm sure it'll come probably sometime next week, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into what this is. And then also, and that's my tea y'all. The reason why it looks a little, it looks a little pissy <laughs> because, oh, I have, see how I'm all over the place. This is the tea that I've been drinking lately. Um, I, you know, I normally drink my Moroccan mint green tea from Trader Joe's, but I have been trying to work on my gut health via probiotics. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what this is supposed to help with. So, anyway, I've been drinking this, and I hate ginger, but it's something about this tea because it has the lemon, and then, of course, I add my fresh lemon and apple cider vinegar. That is making the ginger bearable for me, so... That's why it looks a little pissy because it's lemon and it's lemon and ginger tea versus my typical uh, Moroccan mint green tea, which I will never stop using. But I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit. So anyway, just in case you were wondering why it looks like there's piss in my tea kettle. With all that being said, let's get into opening these packages now. This is a sweater I ordered from H and M last week. They had like twenty percent off. I was so this sweater tip normal price was like sixty four ninety nine. And y'all know me, I was not spending that. <laughs> I was like $64, $65 for an H&M sweater. That seems a little excessive. So, of course, I wasn't buying it until there was a discount. They had 20% off, like you know how to do the flash sales. I really wanted to wait till 25% off, but I went ahead and got it at 20% off because I was scared that it was going to sell out. And it did like the next day, so I'm super glad I got it. I thought I had a $5 like offer. You know how they be having like the little offers on the H&M app or whatever. I thought I had a $5 offer, but there was something going on with the app and it did not give me that. So I was hoping to pay $64.99 minus 20% minus $5, but I didn't get the $5, but I didn't pay retail. Let's open up the package. How about that, Ashley? Jeez. So this is the H&M sweater, you guys. I see now why, and I kind of had a feeling that this is the reason why it was $65, is because the quality was going to be exceptional. And obviously, you know what? Why are these pockets? These are fake pockets. I thought this was a real pocket. Y'all tried it. Now, y'all could have made this a real pocket. Like, why have that right there if it's not a real pocket? But anyway, it's very thick, and it's, it's given very much Chanel. And in typical H&M fashion, it looks like it's going to fit a little oversized. And I, something told me to get a medium, but um, I got the large. I should have got the medium and the large. Do these unbutton at least? Okay, these are real buttons, but these are not real pockets. But anyway, this is very much Chanel, very much Coco. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to style this up with like a... Maybe like a a faux leather tennis skirt or something with my with my gold Prada loafers, which I am still dying to wear. But let's try this one and see what it's giving. Okay, okay, okay. So like I told you guys, I didn't get much, but what I did get was the Nars Laguna Bronzing Powder. Um, this one is in let's see Laguna number. Now they have Lagunas in different options. Back when I started, when I was wearing NARS, there was only one Laguna girl. But this one is, what is that, 06? So I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. But 
I used to use Casino by NARS to contour. I don't think they make Casino anymore. I'm gonna have to keep looking, but on Sephora, all they had was all these um, Laguna options, but they have different shades. So I was intrigued and I like this packaging. Uh, I did re-up on my Fenty. This is, of course, the Butter Drop in the Amazing Cinnamon Limited Edition, I guess, winter <laughs> version. I did get this last year, of course, and I still have it. And honestly, I use it often, especially when I want to, like, layer it with, like, Angel Share or Gentle Fluidity Gold or even Kaali Vanilla 28. It's like a perfect thing to layer that, to layer with that. But I tried to not look how cute this freaking packaging is. But anyway, I used my one that I already have very sparingly, or I tried to preserve it. We'll say that because I use it. I use it often. I ain't gonna say I use it sparingly. But anyway, I am glad that they brought it back out again this season because it's amazing. If you don't have it. Honestly, I hate to say it's worth it because it is like 40 something dollars, but it is worth it. But thankfully, I got it for 20% off. But this is a must have. Like this one right here, the red one, I can't say that one was a must have. I sent that thing back promptly because, of course, it to me, it was better to have the EOS um, vanilla cashmere. I thought that was better. But this right here, that's that jam. I also picked up the Dr. Dennis Gross pads, the Universal Daily Pill. I got the like the standard version. There's a sensitive skin, then there's an extra strength. This is the regular one. I probably could have went with a sensitive one, but this one doesn't give me any issues. Love this. Of course, this is these things are super expensive, so I got the small five treatments. Hopefully, this can give it a give me a um a nice little glow. But um, I love these, and um, they're worth every cent, even the small bottle, I mean the small pack. I also picked up, of course, my Jack Black lip balm, shea butter, and then the, the mint one. I think this one was like $13 before the 20% off. I thought there was one more thing in there. Yeah, okay, so this is um, these are the samples. The My Way, Giorgio Armani Intense. And then the Skylar Clean Beauty Coconut Gro Coconut Cove. I did place the other order, so hopefully that'll come in soon. But I took it very easy, um, this Sephora sale go around. Like I said, this right here. Well, let me show y'all. I want to also show y'all the packaging on this. But I took, it, I took it pretty easy because I also want a full-size bottle of Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. But they be having it for cheaper at Costco, like I told you guys. So there's it, it's even better than getting it from the sephora sale but but yeah so this is all i picked so this is what the nars packaging looks like i've always loved their packaging but i especially love it with this bronze um font versus their standard white font and that is what the bronzer looks like i was debating between getting this and then trying out the charlotte oh, the charlotte tilbury bronzing powder but um, this color was just giving me what I needed. I'm hoping that it looks good. I'm going to try it tomorrow. And I've always been a NARS bronzer girl. So, yeah. And I just put some of that Fenty <laughs> butter drop on. So, that's the reason why I'm glistening just a little bit. Um, I thought it was called something. But I guess it's just shimmering whipped oil body cream. Y'all, this shit right here. If you don't got it, go get it, I promise. And I typically wouldn't even recommend a 40 something dollar body cream. But baby, well, actually, you know what? I take that back because I do have the deleted body cream. Never mind. D go get it. Get it. So you guys know that this is my spot and I need to pull up on them probably once a month. Once every two months at the minimum. I mean, at the, yeah, at the minimum. Uh, to just see what they got because they always got the pieces. So let's see what's going on in Second Street this uh celine phantom 5.99 that isn't so bad it's not in the best condition but it's not so bad this tail bar. let's see what they're charging for the tail fees yes the, as the kids call it <laughs> i actually like this color do you guys have a tail fire comment down below let me know I think I might be like one of the only 
girls that doesn't own a tail far. These look like, oh, this is a really good price. So these are some Giuseppe's for $70. This is what I mean when I say they have a really good pricing. Because you cannot be, I know that they're not necessarily in style right now, but 70 bucks is pretty damn good. Some cute hot pink Zara pumps. 19 bucks, you can't beat that. They always got some pieces. It's a cute Balenciaga tee. If you rockin' with them. Both some of those Pharrell All Human Adidas collab or Superhuman maybe is what they're called. Yeah. We love Second Street for the pieces. Uh, some McQueen's. 180. That's not so bad, but that's a huge size. Like, who wears that? Some Gall Galliano. Oh, y'all. Steve Buscemi's. I used to absolutely love the Buscemi's, you guys. I used to call them, like, the Birkin for guys. Because it has that lock on the back. And... That's a really good price for these. I think these retail for like 700 if they still even make them. I haven't seen them in a long time, but I would still rock a pair of black ones. I ain't even gonna hold you. I actually love that shoe and I used to want one. I love this rack. They have it labeled rock and I love this jacket, but also look at this. Red, real Mongolian fur. And it's only 160, that's not so bad if you were into that, but that's very on trend. And I love Mongolian fur. I actually have some Mongolian fur pillow pillows on my couch. But yeah. A whole rack of Rick. Everybody loves the Ricky pieces. Three fifty? Three fifty? Y'all might be smoking that shit. I love this shirt, of course, because Oh, girl. Oh, I think that might be a bit much. This is so cute, but I did not realize the mini is very much mini. Like, <laughs> you see the size compared to my hand? Girl. She's a baby. Ooh, Chanel. This is a piece. Gucci Chateau Marmont archive piece for the la girl so they finally have well i haven't been to this target but this is the third target that i've been through been to and they finally have it the vra i do want to try it but i feel like that's a bit much i can get two bottles of prosecco for that same price <sighs> but i do want to try it okay i'm gonna try it damn <laughs> these are cute and you can give them out for Christmas. That's really cute. That's the type of stuff I, you can drop me off for Christmas. Pulling up on y'all to see if I can look up on something. I'm not exactly sure what that something is, but it's something. Maybe a lipstick. Maybe a bronzer, girl. Who knows? So look what they have, you guys. They have original recipe. It was just a part of my October favorites. And look at the price. Cannot beat that. And if you don't want it in the liquid lipstick, they also, I guess this is also liquid lipstick, but this one is in matte. This one is vinyl, and it's also an original recipe. Look at that price. They don't even got no candles. Look at the candle section. It's either everybody been up and throw this thing and or they just haven't had no inventory in quite some time. But yeah, there's nothing. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be working on a new unit. I'm wanting to go back since it's like fall, winter. I want to go to, I don't want to do like jet black, but I definitely, which surprisingly jet black used to be like my signature hair color. Um, I don't want to do jet black, but I do want to go back to like my auburn ginger-ish color that I had last year. So I'm about to um, do a what we call a what what we call as if I'm like a real uh, beautician. What they call a bleach bath. Of course, I learned how to do it off of um, YouTube, off of this platform right here. 
So I'm just going to take this wig. This is like a 26 or 28 inch uh, wig. And I'm going to use my 30 volume developer. And the spoon is to mix the developer and the bleach. And then I'm going to use this Wella Beach, the this Wella bleach lightener. And I have my bleach bucket, my bleach bath bucket. So, so, so y'all gonna see how light this is gonna go. Hope I'm hoping this goes really light because this is like a 1B, but it's given almost jet black. So yeah, so instead of like bleaching the full wig to lift it to the auburn color, I'm just going to do like mix some bleach and some developer with some really hot water and allow that to bleach the full wig. It worked last year when I did um, my ginger unit from last year, uh, which now is blonde, the unit that I'm wearing now, the curly unit, but I'm hoping that it works for this too. So fingers crossed, of course, I will keep y'all posted. So you guys, this is what the unit is given after the first bleach bath. So as you can see, it definitely lifted Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. I look, I could wear it at this color, but I want to lift it maybe another three levels. It lifted three levels already. I used the volume, um, the 30 volume developer. So it's really pretty, but we need it to be a little bit more ginger. But yeah, she's given. She's going to be really, really pretty. So yeah, Ash beat out a... Uh, Ashley, aka Vidal Sassoon. This hair is pretty too. Yeah, so she will be coming up very shortly. I'm about to bleach these knots and then I'm going to do one more bleach bath. And um, I think that'll do the job. But she's already getting raving. So I done pulled up at Bonefish. Sonia and I came out to came out tonight because I got an email yesterday saying that they had all the appetizers were half off <laughs> so and this is Saturday so hopefully oh I, I'm pretty confident that the email was accurate so if you know then you know they got the bomb ass appetizers now I might be a glutton for punishment however because I've been to this location twice and this is the one across the street from Cumberland Mall. <laughs> this is my third time, and the service has was trash. Two out of two, so hopefully three out of three. <laughs> this is not. Hopefully it's not three out of three, but we'll see. <laughs> I mean, do you see how much crab that? Like, that's normally not. Well. <laughs> yeah, drink looks good. It is a blueberry lemon drop. Seven dollar blueberry lemon drops. Like, you cannot beat that. Not in this city. Seven dollar drinks, you guys. You cannot beat that. We only made one menu. So we have the Imperial Crab Dip, we have Crab Cakes, we have the Bang Bang Shrimp, of course, we have the Bang Bang Fries, and we have the Shishimi Tempura. So we basically almost got everything on the appetizer menu. This is cute. They have a little harvest set up out here at the bonefish. Sonia is in her fall attire. Okay, boots. Okay, hat. <laughs> yes, I'll take your picture. I'm her photographer. You don't want the nap? What napkins? Hey you guys, just coming to end off this week's vlog. I just got it in from Bone Fish Grill. It was A1. What's crazy is how I told you guys that I went in every of the two times I've been at that particular location. I had horrible experiences. Girl, how about three times was the charm because we had an amazing experience. If you go to Bonefish Grill by um, Cumberland Mall, ask for Grace. She was amazing. Um, 
The service was amazing. Even the hostess was amazing because how about I made reservations for two yesterday and I go up to the lady and I'm like, yeah, we have a seven o'clock reservation for Ashley. And she's like, I can't find it. So I pulls up my email with my smart ass like, oh, here's the reservation. Girl, why did it say November 3rd? She said, ma'am, today is November 4th. I was like, oh my bad. Luckily I wasn't like getting smart and having an attitude about it. I was just like, oh, here's the reservation. Here's a reservation. So that was hilarious, girl. You made the reservation for the wrong day. But luckily, the lady was super nice. She still got us in um, probably like five minutes after we were, we were sitting there. And um, the food was amazing. The, like I said, the reason why we went is because the appetizers were half off. So we uh, got like three appetizers a piece, two le blueberry lemon drops a piece, and our bill even with tip was like $45. In Atlanta, Georgia, that is unheard of. So we and also the food was great, the service was great, the atmosphere, everything was great. So highly recommend it. Surprisingly, it must be under new management or something like that because it was a completely different experience than I had before. Um, so and I got a whole bunch of leftovers as well. So woo! So what I'm about to do is get into black cake. Shout out to my girl Tan Tanya. Um, she's the first person I saw talk, um, tell me to watch or that she had been watching Black Cake. And then Sonia also told me that I have to watch it. So I um, actually just logged into her Hulu account and I'm about to get into, um, into Black Cake. So I'm hoping that it's good. When I read the synopsis of it to me, I, I was like, is this scary? And Sonia's like, no, it's not scary. You have to watch it. So that's what I'm about to do uh, this evening is watch black cake um so i'll go ahead and end off the vlog here essentially if you made it to the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching please don't forget to of course like share comment and subscribe and also let me know are you watching black cake is it good let me know because hopefully by the time y'all put your comments down i will uh have watched an episode or two so let's talk about it um but again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys and dolls in the next vlog